Hi, I'm Kayla Cullen. I play for the Northern Mystics. Um, my nickname is KK and I play defense. Hi, my name is Juliana Noku. I play for Waikato Bapen Magic and my positions are goal attack off shoot. Hi, I'm Danika Beauty. I currently play for the Southern Steel Nickel team. Um, by night, I'm known as Shaniqua and I currently play goal shooter but struggle very badly to play goal attack. Hi, I'm Wendy Fur and I'm on the Southern Steel team. I play in the midcourt and people call me Tao Fruju, Spoon or Wind. Because we had three different sports, I didn't want to play soccer, didn't want to play rugby, so netball was the only option. I love netball because I get to meet a lot of different people and I love the game and if I didn't play netball I'd pretty much be at home knitting. <laughs> So no, I, I do, I'm very passionate about the game because it's a great game to be a part of. I think I enjoy um, you know, the aspect of um, a team sport so it's not all individual. Um, I guess you can blame others when you lose sometimes. <laughs> nah. um, and yeah, just you know, meeting mates, travelling overseas and um, just, just the whole competitive nature of trying to get in the starting segment. My family's more of a softball family, so um, you know I've got eight brothers and sisters, so they've all played softball along with my parents. Um, so pretty much just got into netball because my twin played, and um, yeah, very softball orientated family. I was still in school. I think I was playing for New Zealand secondary schools that year, and I was currently a shooter, but now I've moved down to the other end as a defence, so I've gone through a bit of a change since then. I think Belinda Collins was one of them, um, also Bernice Mini, um, pretty much just going through it all, those are the only two that I pretty much idolise. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing to Beyonce, no. <laughs> um, uh, if I was not playing Evo, I think I'd probably maybe play basketball. Um, I was going to be a swimmer, but then I had to wear togs and the hips sort of started expanding and stuff, so I didn't. I quit um, swimming. So yeah, I think if I had the ultimate chance, I'd be a dancer definitely. I'm a housewife at the moment. Um, used to work part time, but gets quite a lot of netball, so do um, lots of housework for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a job. I currently nanny two little angels. Uh, and I also study during the weekdays as well. I study sport and rec at Unitech. Definitely me. This year I'd say I'd be eyes just because she um, she makes a cup of tea. Me a cup of tea. She holds your clothes. She holds my clothes. <laughs> she does my washing. No. Yeah. Irene would be the best roomie. Yeah. My best roomie, dude, oh my gosh, would probably be someone that likes my same music, someone that wouldn't mind waking up to my music. So Wendy, you're out, damn it. So no, it would probably be, I mean, I get along really well with Leanna um, Leota, so I think me and her can be messy at the same time, she's sort of like a sister, so I can just do whatever and not have to worry about my roomie, really. There's always a few funny stories. Um, I think... Most of them probably inappropriate. Um, <laughs> I think how Danica farts all the time. <laughs> yeah, trainings are pretty much full on. We train every day. Um, our team sessions, we train in the afternoon and then one the next morning. So, um, every, yeah, pretty much it's pretty intense the whole way through. Um, I make sure I have my nana, nana nap, so I'm always having, making sure that I have my 40 minutes or so for my nap because I've creeped up in the age group so I need a bit more sleep. Um, I get my voodoo doll out of my opponent and no joke, I just pretty much <laughs> just have my pre-match food, make sure that I've loaded up on my carbs, but always like to have a nice berry smoothie before, before a game. I like um, a roast. Um, a nice home cooked roast from mum, she's pretty good at cooking them, and um, lots of fruit and the odd bit of, um, the odd bit of cake I make. 
think it's more when you look back at um, the successes you've had and you know you've got gold medals around your neck or winning a major championship and I think that gives you motivation when it gets tough out there to keep going because you want to feel that feeling again so it's definitely you know you've got to push yourself through the barriers but at the same time there's always a goal at the end which you want to achieve so for me um, you know there's no problems doing that. If it's a big game and I'm really nervous I tend to panic but I kind of just chuck in my iPod and put on some calming music and that usually calms me down a little bit. It may sound real stupid but I don't think, yeah I just don't think, like I just do it. Yeah so sometimes I'm supposed to be thinking but I don't think when I shoot it just goes. <laughs> If I've missed the, the shot before, I'm like, please go in. Um, but no, I think it's just more relaxing. Try and take a breath and yeah, put it in. But you've usually got support around the sideline that are, you know, trying to block out um, anything else. But it's really, you've got the big goal shooter or goal attack on you and you know you can do your job. So just making sure that you've got that swish factor at the end. Oh, I think um, we love it, eh, us girls? <laughs> um, it's always good to get a bit of attention. But um, yeah, no, it's certainly nice having you know the crowd on your side and when you play at home or in front of the country, it's a pretty good feeling and, and you always want to you know, win for the crowd and the fans. So it's something we really enjoy as players and, and it's, uh, you know, it's good to get out there. I think one of the most influential coaches I had was Leanne Clark. I had her since I was well, all the way up to 19, so yeah, she's been a big part of my netball career. Taught me heaps. This year, I found that when I was playing up against Hoochie, yeah, we had some wee talks and it was funny, yeah. But other than that, I don't talk to the rest of them, just Hoochie. Go shoot, do you call me louder? Or, or even Vicky, Vicky Wilson. Vicky Wilson yeah. oh, she yeah. was like a legend. Like, oh, true. Never missed. So Vicky? Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. Vicky. Gold and Stu would have to stand down. Ronaldo, she can be the reserve. Gold tech would be Sherelle. Sherelle. Uh, yeah. Oh, Sherelle. Probably Donna Wilkins. But Donna, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. She's up there. And then Winger Tech. Dean Wilson. Dean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got Tim McParter maybe, or even Little Leota. She's pretty fast sometimes. Cinta, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you thinking? Windy Fruit's not bad. No. <laughs> She's everywhere. Um, Cinta. Bobby's the man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put a bit of Bobby and then Julie Seymour into one mm -hmm. fit player, you'd have a main player. So we could just combat that, that would be great. And then Wing Defense. They go on them, she's pretty choice. Yeah, and what about that, uh, um, Corledo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Corledo. I hope we're not meant to just use New Zealand players. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Goldie. You have to go with... Oh, my gosh, she was... Who was back in the day? Oh, Bernie. Bernie. Yeah. Bernie. You know, when she was your idol. Yeah, I just said it. Goldie, probably Casey. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Ten. <laughs> um, well, it can vary. Twelve to thirty. <laughs> I want to say eight, but uh, <laughs> no. Do they, call, do they call you gorilla? No. <laughs> Google gorilla. <laughs> um, actually, I've got a petite little ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Team two, yeah, so three of us are team two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just big foot. <laughs> She's got Monty here. <laughs> you may be still growing, darling. You may be still growing. <laughs> I do a bit of the moonwalk, Michael Jackson. Keep Made him go over. Yeah, yeah. Put a flower, <laughs> Put a flower yeah. on the floor and the same the, uh, the tone set. <laughs> I no need some flowers. No <laughs> Honestly, it's a, um, mm. perfect. Yeah. Michael Jackson would be proud. <laughs>